Since my last video about the cannon which got a popular success, I asked you to create a board featuring the cannon, and I received again a lot of submissions, with a lot of cool propositions but also some strange ideas, and after long testing sessions on Discord and some votes, here are the results. But after a final vote, this is a board made by Epicanto New 08, which won the contest. The board is named Mountain Tops with a mistake and looks like this. You'll find some classic pieces like the King and Knight, but also the Wolf which acts like a dog but with an extra square for the attack, and a tree which works as decoration and doesn't do anything. And of course, there are some cannons. As you see on this board the king is trapped on its own trees, and the only way to checkmate is to do it with a knight or a cannon. There are also some promotion tiles on the back rank where the wolf can promote to a knight, a cannon, or a tree. Yeah. I think there is no other thing to add so let's go to the game which opposes the chesscraft grandmaster Popo against Epic Antonio 08 himself. Okay, so after some analysis, the starting position doesn't offer much choices as the setting of the pieces is really aggressive. So my first move is almost forced, Wolf takes d6 trapping his cannon. Wolf takes f4. Yeah of course. Wolf takes c6 then. Wolf takes g4. Okay so here I have to be careful about what I capture. Capturing back the wolf on g4 loses the cannon, and capturing in front of me on h6 also loses the cannon. So I have to capture the other wolf on b6, but using the b wolf also loses the cannon. So wolf c takes b6. Wolf i to h8. I should continue to trade I guess, so here we go. Okay, this looks like a blunder as I can snap his cannon, but in fact, my cannon is now trapped so this is just some fancy trade. Cannon takes before. Oops, I didn't see that. I realized that I completely lose the control of the board, so let's fix this. Wolf to b5. Cannon to e4. Alright, let's make room for my knight and try to play really aggressive. Wolf to h7. Knight to b3. Wolf h to h8. Knight to d4. Yeah I know he would see checkmate in 2. But anyway knight to e5, knight to c8. Now the goal is to deflect this knight and then checkmate, so let's play aggressively. Wolf to b3. Wolf takes i9. Finally. Wolf 3 to b4. Wolf to f4. Oops, some counterplay, the answer is forced so I have to play my knight back to d4. Knight to d6. I really don't like this, but I see some cool lines actually, and as he's a human and not a computer, let's set a trap by playing wolf to b6. Let's see if he falls for it. Yeah definitely. So here we go wolf takes b8, wolf recaptures, cannon recaptures with check. Knight to c8. Now that I have back the advantage, let's play really carefully to avoid any blunder. So wolf to b2, forcing his cannon to move up the b-file, and I can now play knight to b5 and go for mate in 1. Unless he finds some brilliant cannon sacrifice that I'm forced to accept. So now I have to slide back my cannon to b8. With a blocked knight, I can always try to move up my wolves to gain some play on the h-file, but he can defend without any problem. So what do I do? Nothing. You are just stuck, and Antonio will just play his wolves to get your pieces, so you are lost. This is the problem when you feature a bad rook as a man piece. 
Oh wait, you just gave me an idea. What? Really? This seems crazy, but I want to try. What do you want to try? Shh, just look. Wolf I to H2. Wolf G to H8. Wolf to H3. Wolf to H7. Wolf to H4. Wolf to H8. Wolf to H2. Wolf to G4. I still don't see the point of your moves. Okay, I now got this, but why the wolves? Okay, I got this. Fudge, I quit.